Good morning, everyone. Or it's probably morning still for some of you. Um, thank you for being on my page and for sharing this post. I wanted to pop in and just share with you the just magical energy coming um, from this painting altar. I just gathered with my current Creatively Fit coaches in training, and um, we spent just about 50 minutes out in, as part of a two-hour call um, going together into sacred space and painting a guide and the painting oh you can see lots of guides <laughs> part of um, what I love about having a personal painting practice is it is a place that I can go anytime and connect to just a higher level of wisdom a higher vibration um, the painting here um, is one that I created uh, maybe a couple years ago and she just speaks to me of that timelessness that ancient wisdom and reminds me how to in a moment that may be challenging to kind of see it from a bigger picture and and just allow um, kind of that ancient wisdom like the understanding of how maybe quick or inconsequential whatever is troubling me really is and today I created sacred space. There's a post below where I share a video. Um, I covered a table with one of my Suzani fabrics and brought out a green Tara sculpture and my feather necklace that I created um, for a really magical experience. Um, candle, crystals. Um, this is an Unalome symbol painting that I recently created and uh, the animal totem that I had been really connecting to, it, it just came to me actually while I was leading a meditation in my Super Soul Flow course, I was given the image of a dragonfly. And what I understood and saw and felt instantly when that dragonfly came um, into my awareness was the lightness of a dragonfly as it like skips across or along a pond or a river. So imagine when you see a dragonfly, right? They kind of all of a sudden are there and then they usually all of a sudden disappear. Or you may see it just touch down ever so lightly. Like I'm picturing like a, a big blade of grass, like a reed alongside the water. And the dragonfly touches down on it and it's almost like the reed doesn't even move. The grass or the flower or the lily pad or whatever is just barely changed or touched by the dragonfly. Their, their landing is so light. And I had just gone through an experience when I was given that where I thought I was had found the perfect house and um, I was going to buy it and it was going to be the first house that I've owned since moving out of my marriage house and into my rental. And I was so excited. And then it just didn't happen. It exploded and the pipes exploded. And, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. But it was sad. And I cried. And, you know, I realized how much weight and time and energy I've been placing on just wondering what's next. And the dragonfly instantly was like, what if you just even touch down lightly on that experience? Like just, you know, you kind of have to feel it, right? So, so this painting today um, was my dragonfly guide. So she has kind of a dragonfly above her head and the body going down through her face and then kind of her crown or headdress or hair echoes the dragonfly wings. And she's just reminding me that, for me at least, um, really honoring, cultivating a lightness of being and not taking myself in life so seriously, perhaps, will serve me in these transitional dynamic times. Thank you for the hearts. So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, my Creatively Fit coaches and I are just passionately committed to guiding you into a personal creative practice that can be easier to find the present moment than meditation that can result in you remembering the truth that you are creating your reality in every moment that the real art you're creating is your life 
and how free we are in each and every moment to create from within the feelings, the energy, the ideas, the stories that serve us rather than allowing the criticism or the judgment or the feelings of unworthiness or fear or self-doubt to guide our steps and our life. If you have been kind of thinking about the Creatively Fit Coaching, you want to be sure to share your email at WhitneyFreya.com because um, the next training starts in October and in June we are going to be announcing kind of an early bird opportunity and you will want to get in on that. Okay everyone, have a magical Monday and um, if you want more information you can find my book Rise Above, Free Your Mind One Brush Stroke at a Time on Amazon. Um, go to the link in the bio for all the ways that we can connect and create together. And I just leave you with dragonfly, goddess, and whatever she is speaking to you right now, I'm honored that you are able to receive it. Aho.